See you later, Jay. Peace. <laughs> so I got one of the tabs installed right there. You can see it. This one doesn't have anything. The kit comes with this little tab. And yes, I am using the entire Winjet kit. It comes with this tab. There's this little lip looking thing on the back. So you want the flat side to be on the front. So how you're going to do it is just go around it like so. It's kind of hard to put it up in there. And there you go. It slides in there. It doesn't really lock on. It just kind of holds there. It's pretty tight. And then from here, on a 2019 WRX, there's these little tabs right there. You can kind of see the holes. This is These little tabs are going to slide into that hole. So I got the bulb housing in. I had to take out the socket in the back from it and then get it in there. But basically the tab is just gonna insert, sorry. The tab is gonna insert on that on the little holder there. You'll see it pop through. I don't know if you guys can see it in there somewhere. There you go. You can kind of see the tab holding in there. What you're gonna do is push down this little part to the housing on the bottom of the bumper. And then you'll be able to position these holes and see what's perfect and then just tighten them down and when you're putting on this cover you're gonna have to push this side mainly first make sure all the tabs are very close to where they're gonna all go and then you're gonna be pushing this side of the housing really strong and try to get that to pop in first then you want to do the outside make sure while holding holding the inside here first then you're gonna finish popping in all the tabs all around make sure to push the two corners last Get those last and then I'll show you how the driver's side is going to look after this. This is what it's going to look like. It's not too hard. It's fairly easy. You can see the LED inside there. It looks really beautiful and it's nice and clear. Um, on this kit there is a little piece on, the, on here that says the top. You want to make sure you put the top of the LED facing up and up and down so that way the two LED lights are on the side. And then basically with this being the top it's basically going to shoot all of the, the light at a certain angle down that way it's not going to be blinding anybody so make sure you guys get that installed how it's supposed to you don't want to have the top to the bottom then it's going to shoot straight up and it's going to be a really bright mess and you won't actually get as much light on that road as you're supposed to that's what a lot of people mess up on is they don't know the left and the right side has a top every single time so here is the finished product nice oem finish you can tell when i push on the bumper it doesn't move the tab at all. This one, I know a lot of people have problems with aftermarket kits from eBay. You can't really push these and they kind of move and they don't really, or they don't really hold in good. Um, this kit's really nice and tight. You're gonna have to shove this side in first. Make sure you get that side in first. Then you pop in the outside and then top and bottom and so forth and just finish popping it all around. And overall fitment of the actual housing, it fits really nice. It's actually not too bad. It's a little bit in there, pretty tight. Make sure you take off the plastic film, and there you go. So there you have it. I will show you guys what it looks like with the LEDs on at the nighttime. That way you guys can kind of have a brief description of what it would look like on the actual overall thing of the car. I have LEDs in here, I have LED there, and I also have an LED here. They're all the same brand, same color, so it'll be nice and bright. Alrighty guys. Peace out for now, and we'll see you in the nighttime so you guys can see how these things perform and see if they're actually really good of what people say they are. Remember, it is Winjet, just so you guys know for sure what housing kit this is for. Um, I'll, guide, I'll forward you guys what the switch will look like once I finish it, and I just have to contact the company and get the proper size. Alrighty, guys, I'll be back. I'm going to show you guys real quick what the actual product is on the car. So here's the final product on the car. Here's what the car finally looks like. It looks really great. The texture came out really nice and well on this aftermarket kit for an OEM fit and style. You can see the grain. It looks really nice. So from there, what you're going to do is after you run it through the firewall, which I ran mine through, there's like a little tube right there where you can see the wire at. I just opened it up with um, a long, a long, basically a long flat head, pried it open. And then um, what I did was I fished a wire through on one side, on that side, on the inside, to the outside. Found the wire, taped the wire I needed to it, and pulled it back in. And that's how I got this wire in. Then from here, what you're going to have to do is remove this screw here. 
And then there should be a screw, I believe. That's about it. Just You're just going to remove this screw and it should just be able to pop pop this whole thing off. Let me get this going for you guys and I'll show you how it, how it looks like if there is any extra screws. So this is what it's going to look like after you pull it off. It is just that one screw then you just yank it off and it comes off pretty easy. Then you need to get yourself one of these from AutoZone. Um, I bought the wrong one. You're going to have to get the one not, not that's like low profile one. You're going to have to get the one that sticks out. And then basically this is the switch plug. You're going to have to use, use a knife and pry up these little tabs right here a little bit. And then you're going to push out that little insert. And then the fog, the fog light switch on this, on some kits like this ones will either go here or they can go here or they can go here. Um, on most kits I've seen on the internet either go here and you can buy an OEM switch and just use the OEM plug which is right here should be connected to it right here or it should be in a pink tape I just took mine off the pink tape and connected it to the dummy pin um, you can just cut the factory wire and then re rewire it to the actual what, what you need it to to make sure the kit works with your, your new kit and then you'd have an OEM switch um, I'm gonna have a switch that goes right here um, all of the, other than that what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the right one It looks just like this one just the one with the longer longer one for the fuse You're just gonna plug it in insert the two fuses or whatever here on the side Then this free one you're just going to be butt crimping it to This end of the wire that's just straight straight you find an empty an empty hole like right here here or here how I have on mine an empty little slot and then um, once you plug it in there, the, um, you want you want the wire to be on on the top side, because I saw from my car when I did the wire testing, it um, has power straight from the bottom and it feeds to the top. So you want it to be on the on the opposite side. So in case the fuse breaks, it'll save your wiring and the car. Um, other than that, I just grounded it right here. Once you get it fully done, I just put the screw in, came in from the back, and plugged it in right here. That's how I got that. This yellow one will go to the wire from your fog lights. It's only just one wire you bring into the cabin. And other than that, it's fine. You just um, plug it in and it starts working that way. It's not a hard install. It is a little bit complicated. I bought some extra fuses just in case I needed them. And other than that, the kit should be working fine. I'll get back to you guys once I get the right part on there. And I'll show you guys the finished product. And other than that, it looks perfect and it's nice and clean. Uh, you can figure out some ways to hide the wires around here um, There is quite a bit of wires here in the back so you can find ways to hide the wires so that way it doesn't look too nasty under there um, Just make sure you guys tie the wire what I did is I kept these wire wire bands From from the actual kit to reuse it to tie up this wire along with this extra red wire And then everything will be nice and clean once you're finished um, There shouldn't be anything more than that The install is pretty self-explanatory you shouldn't have to be struggling with anything else. Just be careful with these ones. Um, the heat shrink is not the best in the world, but it is something decent. Um, the wires are actually pretty good OFC wire. I did do testing on this wire to make sure it's nice and um, worthy. Uh, anything else, if you guys have any questions, you can like, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you guys have any questions and I'll definitely help you out. If you guys can hit that not notification button, I will be doing a giveaway. Now, let's talk about this giveaway. What this giveaway is gonna be doing, I'm gonna be per persisting in subscribers. So if you guys want a chance at $100 in cash sent to you through a gift card, or I can send it to you any, any way you want it to, if you want me to PayPal it to you, all you have to do in order to enter into the contest is you have to subscribe to the channel, you have to like my videos, and you have to share them. And then from there, all you have to do is hit that notification button. I will be checking from subscribers and I can also check the notifications. And once I hit a 500 subscribers, I will definitely be giving it away. And I'll be doing another giveaway at 1,000. And then from 1,000, I'll be doing 10,000. So once you guys get it from there, we can talk about more gifts as we go along. For now, the first... What's up, guys? So it's a dark time now. I wanted to show you guys the fog lights. It actually doesn't look too bad. This is what it looks like from inside the car. Just the fog lights alone. These are with headlights, fog lights, beer. So the fog lights are pretty bright for it being nighttime. Nice, projected, and bright. Not too bad. I appreciate them. 